Now, when comparing the Samsung Galaxy S21 or S20 FE to the Google Pixel 6, I think that the Google Pixel 6 is a better phone but I've recently had this predicament with my wife where she needs a new computer and we needed to figure out whether or not Samsung DeX could actually replace her computer for all of her productivity needs. Now, I have a Google Pixel 6 and I've been doing videos about that, but unfortunately, Google still doesn't have any kind of desktop mode that can compete with Samsung. And there's a possibility that one of you that's watching this video right now either has a Samsung device, you're looking to get a Samsung device, or you're looking to get a Pixel device. And I think that the Samsung device for a lot of people could fulfill all of your computing needs. Now, I want to tell you about what my specific usage case was, why we chose to go with this route, and a little bit about myself. So first, my name is Mitchell. I'm fluent in tech, so you don't need to be. And if you guys want more videos about Samsung DeX, go ahead and let me know in the comments section. Now, my wife runs our Amazon business most of the time. She makes PowerPoints for our online teaching for our classes here in Vietnam, and she kind of does the administrative stuff for that. So that means that she is making PowerPoints in Canva. She's doing attendance with Outlook, or with, not with Outlook, with Excel documents and spreadsheets, and she's having to host meetings uh, on Zoom and on Google Meet. And we'll talk about that in a second. And all of those things in my mind are browser-based, which makes it a perfect candidate to use with the Samsung DeX ecosystem. And there's a few specific reasons why I thought that the Samsung DeX ecosystem and going with a mobile computing setup would be a superior option to buying a laptop, other than that laptops here in Vietnam are extremely overpriced. We were looking at getting her a used laptop, maybe with a Core i5 or Core i7, something mobile around the 13 inch mark. And it was gonna be around $800 to $900 for like a year and a half old device. And that year and a half old device is gonna get between seven to eight hours of screen on time and usage for productivity stuff, depending upon the last user that had it. And ultimately, by the time we get to America, where computer prices are a lot lower, the value of that laptop will have significantly dropped. On the other hand, going with a mobile computing setup based on Samsung DeX means that you could upgrade your computer, your computer every year or every two years. And after you sell your old device, you're looking at around a $400 upgrade cost for anywhere between a 15 to 20% boost in computational power. Now, after we decided that the mobile computing setup was going to be the more fiscally prudent direction to go in, we had to test it. So we went on Canva. She was able to make a PowerPoint the same way she would normally on her laptop that we would use for our online classes for young children. She was able to edit Excel documents and kind of switch over to Google Sheets, which have everything saved in the cloud. It's a little more secure and a little bit more friendly in regards to your laptop crashing and stuff still being backed up. And she was able to do all of the browser-based stuff that she needs to do for our Amazon business. Meaning that for her specific use case, this was almost perfect. The only thing that wasn't perfect is the fact that there's still issues and bugs in regards to sharing your screen in a Zoom meeting, sharing uh, a presentation and being able to make it interactive. We decided that for the productivity and the types of things that she needs to do, the fact that Samsung now has the ability to stop charging your battery at 85%, and it's gonna increase the battery longevity of the S20 FE, or we can go ahead and get her an S21 FE or an S21 normal, and she's gonna get an upgrade in performance. The fact that it's gonna have a better camera than the phone that she has right now, being an iPhone 6S, which is still supported by Apple, crazy enough. And the fact that for two to $300 after you sell your old device, every two years or so, or every year and a half, she's gonna be able to get a new camera experience, she's gonna be able to get a faster computing experience, and she's going to get all of that plus more in a new and better phone. 
And so we are going to be getting the U Perfect X and U Perfect. If you would like to sponsor a bunch of segments on here, I would love to work with you guys uh, to doing content about switching to that mobile computing ecosystem. But ultimately, for students, uh, for people that don't need to do photo video editing and just have kind of general computing needs, I don't understand why this isn't a more talked about and more widely adopted thing because you get so many great benefits being like more regular upgrades, uh, you get more usage out of your device. And if you consider the fact that every year you buy a phone for 800 bucks, you go to sell it a year later for $600 or 550 bucks, that for $300 a year, you get an upgrade in camera, uh, processing power, all, all of those capabilities, plus that for your computer and your webcam, it just means that it's a better deal for us and for a lot of people. Now, I wanna know if you guys like Samsung DeX, and I wanna thank TechFluent for sponsoring today's video. They make an awesome external hard drive holder for your laptop. So if you're someone like myself that uses an external hard drive, this is the perfect solution for you guys. Thanks to TechFluent for sponsoring today's video, and until next time, it's been Mitchell, peace.